Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a relay within the DCAC lab simulator. The simulator is online so you can directly go on Google, write dcaclab.com and then you can use it. This is the demo version of our uh, software so you can maybe there, there are some limited features okay now first you can see that we have relay on here on the top you need to click it out and drag it out here now there are two pins two are connected with the coil while three are connected with the what's called as the connection strips or connections one is normally open, you can see that, and one is normally closed, and the mid one is called as the common connection. Okay, now we need to take our battery. Battery is 1.5 volt, so you need to load its properties and change it to okay, and change it to 12 volts. Okay, now our battery is changed to 12 volts. Now, we need to do one thing. We need to take our switch. Now, our AC lamp is there. We will change its properties to resistance 1 ohm and like this. And it's okay. Its properties are okay. Now, we need to... Connect the lamp with the normal open terminal. Okay, wait. Like this, okay. Now, one more thing that you need to connect positive end of the battery with the one side any of the side of the switch that is our this is called as a toggle switch okay so you can use it uh, like uh, with very much ease now we need to connect the other end of the battery with the coil one side there isn't any sort of what's called as the there isn't any sort of polarity in the coil so you can connect it anyway now connect it like that and now you can see that our relay is operational like when when we are making it on it is now it is off now it is on and now it is off okay now what about our if we want to operate our bulb then what we need to do we can take one more battery we can we can change the voltages to 12 volt Okay, and like this, or delete it out. It is now. Now we will connect our positive end of the what's called is the battery with the common terminal and this with directly with our bulb okay now what will happen now when we will uh, close the switch relay coils will energize and this trip the common terminal will get attached to the normal open and then our our circuit or our circuit for lamp will be closed now you can see that our lamp is not running or not turning on now now see that when our relay is energized it is yes it is uh, okay now we can see that it is our bulb is burned up why it is so uh, yeah maybe there is like uh, some huge voltage or like this I'm not sure what's the problem but 
but we have to decrease the voltage out that is 9.2 okay now if you want to yeah okay now we have to go for another lamp okay we have to go for another lamp delete it out now we will okay now we will okay now it is it is turning on and it also get fried okay but still the concept is okay that you can control if you want to control any sort of like uh, bulb or any sort of power device then okay now we are going to what's called as the uh, we are going to increase its resistance like this and then hopefully it will perform some better now we need to run it out now it will now okay yes okay we can use one thing that we can use fan as well okay if we, if we want to use some also used to what's called as it also used to yes now what about its properties we have to see the properties of the devices as well like resistance is one ohm okay now we have to we have to increase the resistance like this and like this. okay now we need to run it out <laughs> a little better and all other things yeah, because our voltage is very much higher because of our voltage so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the relay within the DC AC lab simulator that is the online simulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel